I thought of sharing this information with you. So sometimes we get to find that our grinders are stuck with coffee. Sometimes you try to adjust, but there's that coffee bean that is not allowing the uh, grinding chambers to grind your coffee. So that's why I want to show you this simple video on how you can easily clean or remove those stuck stuck coffee within your what within your grinder then we can easily give it a small or a simple service for every barista at least to see the basic on how you can easily remove the stuck beans or even clean your grinder so let me get a position where i can place this so that we can all see what is going to be happening all right so if i put it right here okay wow all right, just a minute. Let me place it here. Um, Mohammed, hold here this phone. Here, Hina. Okay, Shokran, there. Just want to see if. Uh, thank you, Shukran. All right, so I think I'll be silent for now, but let's get to see how we can easily clean this grinder. All right, so I think our people watching or people viewing, you can easily uh, have a strategic location or something uh, clear. Uh, Mamet, how make some tissue? Shukran Habibi. Okay, uh, guys, watch it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am still, uh, I wasn't ready for this video, but I thought of at least giving a little share, at least to see or learn how you can easily do it, how you can easily also clean your grinders. I think, uh, uh, not bad, we can go with that. Okay, so uh, Mohammed, be careful with this. Eh? Don't knock, okay? Thank you. All right, so I think that's enough. Or okay, for those I think watching, we shall have it that way. So, all right, I'll get a chair. Okay, so right now we are going to start cleaning. Okay, our <laughs> grinder, and uh, let me see if we have the right view of this i didn't have i wasn't ready and i didn't make a setup for this so we shall just see what i do basically on my busy shifts or when i'm easily tired at least i take a quick cleanup or a quick service of this frame all right so since we're just sharing this i think uh, we can go on with that so i'll get my stuff open up all this but to be careful it's really hard so you have to use some energy while opening it okay there are three nails which we have to unscrew this is a new grinder so we have to be very very careful with whatever we do if you don't have this experience you don't need to okay Oh, too much energy. <laughs> okay, I think uh, I don't know whether it's really clear. Mm, let me first adjust here. One more. So for those people watching this and it shows that it's not clear, at least adjust uh, your cameras or your phones to 720. Uh, yeah, I think that's better when I adjust my. This is just after my shift, and I decided to give a quick cleanup of my grinder. Okay, so every time you clean your grinder, or when you are trying to open up a machine, make sure that you have where to place this. Wow, too much. Uh, this basically happens on a very busy shift. Wow. Okay, so. I'll get hold of this brush or even this, uh, this some stuff at least to remove all these coffee packs that are stuck here, like you see. 
Oh, let me bring it closer here. <laughs> okay. All right, so I get this at least to clean my grinder to give it a little service because sometimes if you don't clean it, it's going to stay dirty. So after that, I'll get this brush that we use to scrub the what? Uh, the group heads and at least give it a little pinch or a little scrub within it. On this video to be very very fast then we'll go home so these are the bars someone asked me what are bars how do bars look like these are the bars that grind our coffee i think this person was new to the coffee industry so if you get to watch this video it would be a very good chance for you to do what to see this bars within this video so if you see, all these nails have coffee. Alright, so I'll get my cleanup brush. I'll please remove the coffee grounds. All the coffee spillages within the grinder. So you see, the bars at least are better. This is a quick service that can be done by any barista out there. Quick service that can be done by any barista. Yeah, and I do basically this either when I have had a busy shift or every after one month at least I open to clean it but every week at least I put the grinding tablets. Every month I put grinding tablets. So, oh, this is just clean and it's okay. So, we get to the other thing. Now, how are we going to remove these? Wow, let me see. How are we going to remove these coffee beans? Okay, so me basically what I do, since it's just a quick service, I don't open these nails. I really don't like opening these nails. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to carry and flip it. To get an extra water. So you need to do this when you have enough energy. All right, and just in case you are a barista there who gets easily scared of anything, first switch off your electricity. I forgot my electricity on, but any barista out there watching this, you need to do it. You need to switch off your what? Your electricity. So if we try opening this, like I told you, I, I hate risking. If I try to open it, I'll need another clip to put here so that my uh, my what my uh, uh, buzz don't what don't twist or don't move around because they might easily get affected so what I'll do I'll get something very very small at least to clean in the sides like you see like I told you this is just a quick service quick service after shift especially when I have been very busy or when your coffee bean has stuck into the what has stuck into the grinder so at least we we'll remove these old coffee grounds. I can see. So we have a stuck coffee bean here, which we need to remove. Okay. So basing on the grinder that you have, this is an Italian or a Eureka grinder. So you need to also learn the grinding, the kinds of grinders that you use. Not every grinder is like this one okay so right now my hoover is not available so what i do that's why i am flipping it at least to remove the what the coffee grinds so all coffee that is stuck within the grinding chambers i have tried to remove it so that i don't get disturbed or the person working in the morning he is not disturbed by by the grinding chain uh, by the disturbance of the grinder. So when we look clearly, all the coffee beans are out. The coffee bean that was getting stuck into is out. So if we twist, well, we are going to see that our uh, our what our buzz and our okay. Be there, 
<laughs> colors. So I'll get a simple cloth, at least two. Clean inside. And inside, then like we see, we are ready to go. This is just a quick service. So we are going to get the other uh, bar, the upper bar. There are two bars, the upper bar and the lower bar. So they get to collide and grain. This is the uh, the uh, the adjuster where you take to fine and coarse. So when you take to fine, they get to they get together or they come closer to each other. And when you take to coarse, then they get to expand. So these are the what? These are the grain Uh Jonathan. Jonathan. Ciao. Jonathan, bro. What is the size for the garbage bag you need? So, this will come. Now it's time to lock it up. Then we go home because our shift is done. Okay, don't tightly close. Eh? There are those uh, manual grinders whereby you have to be careful when you're tying or when you're nodding the what? The nail. It's really going to disturb you. The more you tighten it, the more uh, the bars get to disturb you when you are grinding your what? When you are grinding your coffee. So, most times after doing this, what I do is this. So this is what I do after cleaning it up. We have this clinch that is supposed to sit here. And you have to be very careful, like you see this node. It has to be located on the left side so that when you're placing back this, it has to be in contact. So it's time to fix this back. Hello, come back, come back, come back. Colors. Okay, then. We we'll put back, so I need to wash this. So what I'm going to first do, I'll get my tablets, the grinding tablets, after placing them back. All right, where are the grinding tablets? So if you can't open your grinder, these are the tablets that you should use to clean your art, to clean your I don't think you can see them clearer. These are the tablets that you have to use to clean your what? To clean your grinder. Like you see, it's called grains. Eh? So we are going to put 30 grams. So 30 grams or 45 depending. Then we are going to grind them. I think you really need to see the picture of what happens when I am grinding. So we are done with cleaning our what? Our grinding chambers. All right, so I think I will take it back. So we are going to grain these tablets like you've seen, I've poured them inside. So how do we get to grain them? It's the normal process. It's the normal process. I'm holding my phone, so we shall just uh, do whatever comes out. So, like you see, those are the tablets that are coming out. It's white or yellow. One might call it yellow, all right? So, like you see, it's very, very brown. What we need to do is we are going to add at least a little tablets again for us to do it. For us to grind, I think it's done. So, I need to order for new ones. I'll pour them and grind again. All right. So, after grinding, after grinding, then... The next step remember these these tablets are very very effective once you leave it there and you grind it for a client you are going to find yourself uh, serving it and the coffee is really going to be bad so if we lift up our hooper oh this is not locked okay it's okay i'll lock it so if we lift up our hooper and we look have a clear picture of what's inside oops it's all yellow yeah right now they 
uh, right now the light is really really too much i think i'll need to uh send it off okay so once we look inside there the medicine is still in and it's all yellow so what we're going to do we shall put, place in some coffee beans and grind them too I think that's enough, like uh, 60 grams. We grind them. So like you see, it's still sending the, the medicine out. Now it has started bringing the coffee. You have to make sure that you grind out all the medicine by seeing that, or by seeing that the what? The coffee is no longer having the chemical. Okay, and then we grind. Okay, that whole coffee is out and the medicine is out so like we see sorry about that so like we see at least we have the coffee inside and we still have the medicine so what we are going to do we shall get we shall push the what the medicine at least in, inside the what the grinding chambers at least to fall inside and then we tend to grind them out i'll place in some more coffee beans Grind out. But remember when you're grinding and the hopper is not on, you have to touch the what? The you have to touch on top of the what? Of the grinding or uh, chamber so that the coffee doesn't split out. So I think that has been a very, very quick service tour on how you can easily service your machine or your grinder or sometimes when the coffee beans are stuck you just easily open it but remember if you really can't please call the maintenance guy the maintenance guy will be able to do it to help you out don't do what you can't do at least for me i have some little experience with grinders and different machines so i have the experience to do it and i am a certified uh, mechanic for this grinder so Please, if you really can't, don't risk. Just call your what? Just call your uh, maintenance to do that. So I think, like you see, we are done. We are done, and I am taking this to the sink at least to give it a quick wash with its pooper cover. And I'll be cleaning my station and at least go home to rest. So I'm done with that grinder. I cleaned this grinder yesterday, so I need I don't need to clean it again. And I'll cover my coffee. I'll seal it. If I'll seal it properly and we are good to go so guys good night see you good morning good afternoon and wherever you are watching from make it a point to subscribe share and like this video good morning